Welcome to another D45 Tech Talk. I am your technology coach, Matt Granger, and today's episode is using Smart Notebook and uh, moving the tabs and the toolbars so it's more effective when you're presenting and doing lessons. So I decided to come and watch the sunset here on the beach and do this episode. Um, the episode today, you have on the, the left side and the top by default, the smart notebook, you have the, the toolbar and the tabs. So we're going to take a look at what the tabs are and then how to move them to make it more effective. Um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be... If once you try it, it's going to be a change. It's going to be awkward at first, but keep doing it. Give it a try, and I promise it's going to feel much more natural later. So let's take a look here at moving the tabs and the toolbars. How and why you would want to move the tabs and the toolbars in Smart Notebook to make your presentations better. I'm going to show you moving the tabs for, for smoother presentation. We'll talk a little bit about the pedagogical value of that and how this helps you when you're presenting. So the first tab here is your page sorter. shows you all the pages in your file so you can jump between pages randomly or rearrange pages. The gallery tab, that's all of the gallery essentials, lesson activity toolkit, all the things that you can install the graphic and multimedia files uh, for building lessons that come with Smart Notebook and the My Content where you can organize the things that you put in to have accessible in Notebook. The Attachments tab, which I don't have any of right now, gives you quick access to files, links, other things that you might want to use in this lesson. I forgot to list it here on the text but here's the properties tab where you can change the property of something when you select it. Color, line style for objects, text. The add-ons tab gives you access to the add-ons to notebook and lets you interact with the functionality of them, build them, work with them. And finally, the Smart Response tab, if you have questions embedded in your file or instant questions, this is how you interact with starting the questions, stopping the questions, looking at the, the data from the questions. So, those are the tabs. That's the tab bar that I'm talking about. Uh, the toolbar up at the top, you've got your tools, your pens, shapes text tools all of the other things up there so how do we do that right here in the middle of the tab bar is a little two-headed arrow when you tap that boom it moves to the right side so now it's where I need it for presenting this is more natural to me if I'm presenting if I'm right-handed a lot easier. Now if you're left-handed obviously you want to leave it over there because you should be standing on the left side most of the time. And that similar arrow is located right there to move the toolbar from the top to the bottom. Now all of the tools are accessible for younger students. So pedagogically, obviously, when you're presenting, if you're facing the students, it's much better, more engaging. You're not turning your back to them. Uh, they're more engaged because you're engaging them with eye contact. When the toolbar is down at the bottom for younger students, it's hard for them to come and interact with the board and text and use the tools if they can't reach them. All right, uh, the sun has set here uh, at the beach. Beautiful day. The sun is setting on this episode. If you need to get a hold of me, you can email me, mgranger at d45.org. If you need any help with notebook or anything else, 
for that matter. So 